far as, I mean, as far as the Denver skate scene's concerned, man, I, I've kind of been away from it for a while, man. I, uh, actually got caught up in some pretty bad stuff, man. Smoking a lot of weed, ended up, uh, fighting some dudes over an eighth and, uh, went to jail for about three years. And that, I, I mean, I was just in a low point in my life at that time. I uh, wasn't really skating. It's mostly just like watching a lot of old movies, and uh, I got I actually got really fat. Um, but yeah, I mean, back when I was in it, man, I'd say I'm definitely one of the forefathers of the Denver skate scene. Like, um, I actually coined the term D Park. Getting back into it, man. Since I um, did my probation, man, they actually wouldn't allow me back at the skate park because that's where it all went down. But yeah, I mean, I'm just getting back into it, man. Um, so it's weird. It's so familiar and yet foreign at the same time. Um, yeah, I just I love skating, dude, and I love Denver. just a 50 50 it used to just be a 50 people were only and I added another 50 to it and I actually kind of flipped it on its head in a way um, if you look at uh, pop shove it's man it used to just um, be a shove with no pop and I kind of like you know so I take stuff that already exists man and I just make it better I'm kind of like an improver um, trailblazer of Maverick uh, gotta be careful with this stuff right here, man. You might get high off of this. I don't get high anymore. <laughs> Thrilling. Yeah. You know me. Yeah. Uh -oh. This is my buddy uh, Joby. Comes over. We pretty much kick it every day. Um, he's my skate homie. Um, he's also from Denver. Um, we've known each other since like second grade or something. Mm. Yeah. Nice. It's good pop. That was hash. Yeah, I remember when I first met Joby, we were actually, um, we linked up through like our uh, parents both put us in this like church camp over the summer. And you were like one of the only other kids there that like skated. So, and it was, it was hard because it was up in the mountains. Um, up in the hills so there wasn't a lot of places to skate but we'd be in our cabins like doing like little kickers and uh some well and they like they wouldn't even allow skateboards so we would have to do it at night like in the bathroom while everybody was sleeping and so nobody would see us you know like turn the shower on you remember yeah. that yeah mm -hmm. and, like <clears throat> we'd just be in these you know small uh, cabin showers just by ourselves just doing tricks you know like such rambunctious little kids you know and and uh crib was always I was like always crawling out of my crib man yeah well my mom actually gave me that nickname right oh, right mom. yeah and, and but like running away from home too you know and it was like it just escaping the crib yeah. and i would be it 
was like I would wake up for school some mornings and Crib would be like uh, sleeping in a bush in our front yard. Yeah. You know? We're like going to the magazine aisle and there's this old skate mag that's it's actually not in print anymore. Um, it was called, you remember Jibbers? Jibbers. Yeah. Jibbers. Yeah, Jib Mag. And uh, I remember that was like the only thing that would like calm me down was like looking at these photos of these older men just like flipping off a of huge lips, dude. And it was like, that was kind of, I think what triggered it in my head was like, I want to, I want to be, I want to be that yeah man I'm, i remember linking up and i was like who's this kid like he's honestly he was such a scuba dude i was dope though too you know yeah well i, I could was, tell you had that dope style deep down but i felt like it was you were uh, scuba. evident you were that scuba. everyone you know I, I i knew like everyone knew it was friggin' the dopest you know Dude, you used to push uh, Jerry style, dude. And I was like, remember, I was the first one who taught you not to push that style. I I don't remember it that way, actually. I, I mean, yeah, you have your new school skaters like uh, Willie Preston, uh, Jerome Hunter, um, uh, but I'm old. I'm old style. We're old style. We grew up in that old style of skating. Yeah, but our old style classic is like a new school. Uh, for older people. Yeah. Well, where does old skaters, old, man? Oh, it's like new school for old school, mm -hmm. if that makes sense, really. Yeah. You know? Absolutely. It's tough, man. It's tough because everybody at the park is trying to just do that new shit, and it's like, that's not pure. I'm a pure skater. He's a pure skater. Yeah. And we just kind of grew up in that scene. Yeah. <laughs> This is like, you know, this is really where I come alive. Um, this is my fucking bread and butter, brother. Uh, this is, <clears throat> this is, this is the heart and soul right here. Um, yeah, let's get to it. There's different ways you can skate. Obviously there's old style, new style. Mediterranean. I don't know if you ever heard that Bruce Lee quote where he's like talking about water and shit. That's just kind of how I try to skate. So I'll give you a little example. So you can see this. This is how. That's an old style push off. This is a new style push off. In the back in the old days, man, we would do a primo twist. And that's pretty much, that. I mean, that's pretty much the gist of the trick. I'll get another angle on it so you can see, but as you're taking your foot back, you kind of, it's almost as if you're blocking, you're blocking an attacker, which most of the original skate styles were um, actually used for self-defense uh, back in the old school, because like I said, man, like skaters used to say, hey, we'd be in that, summer youth group and people would just come and try to attack us for skating. It's fucked up. Um, These are loose, dude. You yeah, want to tighten though. You want to get those tightened. The tricks are there. Like I can visualize, I can visualize it like a 360 helicopter flip. F fakies. Face down. Uh, shifty splits. Crooks. Uh, uh, shakers. Yeah. Uh, shake shacks. Uh, mm -hmm. Um, uh, McFlurries, McTwists. McFlurries, uh, McTwists, Cinestics, uh, um, Do Rides, uh, Pop Ums, um, uh, uh, Captain America's, Slick um, Rickies, yeah, um, uh, Thor Hammers, uh, The Loss of Innocence, Grinder, uh, Foot Longs, um, uh, Subby um, Swifts, Big Spins. Big spins, uh, small little, spins, little flips, little trips, little splits, um, tray little song, kicks, tray little songs, nicks. Uh, Jimmy Nichols. I've known uh, Crib and Joby for a minute, dude. I grew up in the same neighborhood as them. Uh, there was this one day, man. It was Go Skate Day in uh, 2002, and uh, it was midsummer. It was it was hot, and the whole crew was there, man, down at the four block on the river, and. Uh, 
I saw I saw the look in Crib's eyes, and he had that crazy look in his eyes, like he was gonna try something that was just gonna blow everybody out of the water. And that fool rolled up switch. Yeah, he, he was pumping with speed, man, just like cruising, pushing switch. He gets up to it and just does a full heli flip, dude. Fucking trade out, man, just like off the rails, dude. And he fucking landed bolts and rode away and. That will forever be one of my favorite memories of Crib. I mean, I know it's been like, it's hard for you when your parents got divorced or whatever, but that was 15 years ago, bro. Like, imagine 15 years with no Joby and no fucking Crib in, De in D Park. We could go back, we could take it, we could reclaim it as ours. It's rightfully ours. Was it hard for you when your parents got divorced, man? Stop. What? Why would you say that? I mean, it's been 15 years, bro. It's like, we all go through shit. Wait, bro, we all go through shit, man. We all? Joby! Joby! Yo, bro. Bro. Fuck, dude. What the fuck, man? Yo, cool it, dude. Hey, hey, you dude. Joby, stop. Joby, stop, dude. Joby, Joby, stop, dude. Joby, stop. <laughs> Fucking Joby, dude. Fucking stop, dude. Joby, listen to me, dude. You know it's been a long fucking time since your parents got divorced, dude. Yeah, I, whatever, I'm... I'm, I don't even care, man. Honestly, bro. I'm, you, we can I'm still ready. fucking kill I'm ready. it, man. I'm ready. I'm bro, ready. Bro, look at me, bro. Look me in the fucking eyes, dude. The fucking things off your face. Fucking thrashers. We can do this, man. I know it's been a long time since your parents got divorced, and that hurts you, bro. But, like, you need to fucking skate through it, man. God gave you this special gift. It fucking bums me out, man. I was thinking, man, it's been a while since we've been um, to D Park to drop in, man. How crazy would it be if two old style legends just showed up and just like dropped in on some new new heads? Uh, let's do it. Let's. I mean, I'm I'm game. Let's, uh, yeah. Yeah. Now we're headed to uh, D Park right now, man. Joby's gonna fucking drop in for the first time in 15 years since his parents got divorced. Well, I don't know why it has to be about my parents getting divorced. And this can't just be about dropping in. Ready for the D. It was good to be back at D Park, man. Uh, you know, it's funny because it used to be like home. Uh, this was... You'd eat, sleep, just, I mean, you just be at D Park when you're not anywhere else. It's where, it's where you want to be. We, this was home, dude. Ah, uh, D Park rules, baby. D Park rules, baby. For life, for life, for life. Oh. Uh. D Park rules. Read them up. Street name is Jerry. Jerry? Yep, you'll know me as Jerry around here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, shout on game yet. Does anybody ever talk about Crib or 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 Jibbo? I never even hear about them. No. Really? Nope. Yeah, that's my uh that's my boy uh Splunky, uh T Bone and uh Marker man and it's honestly sad bro because like they used to be some of the tightest skaters at D Park but like 
now they're just a bunch of fucking junkies, man. Just like smoking doinks all day. Smoking doinks and like yeah, clapping jibbers and stuff, man. It's like look at that shit, man. It's honestly sad, dude. So, yeah. Danny Hawk used to come to D Park back in the day, man. Oh, we